A secret stash of money in the Prime Minister's office, up to $1 million. That's what a CBC News investigation is able to reveal tonight. The Conservative Party has a strong fundraising arm which raises money for the Conservative Fund of Canada. Of course, that's public knowledge. Every party has its own money. But tonight we can reveal the Conservative Fund is also the source of a PMO account that only a handful of people know about. So what is the money used for? And is it connected to that $90,000 bailout that Stephen Harper's former chief of staff gave Senator Mike Duffy. Our investigative correspondent, Greg Weston, has been digging deep into all of this. Greg, tell us more. Peter, for weeks the government has been under pressure to produce documents or even the actual check used in that secret deal between Nigel Wright and Mike Duffy. Has the Prime Minister seen the check to be able to affirm in this House that he's sure that that check was drawn on Nigel Wright's personal account? I can certainly assure the House Mr. Speaker, that none of this money has come from the PMO or from any government account. So many questions and now another mystery. CBC News has learned that as Stephen Harper's chief of staff, Nigel Wright had exclusive access to a secret fund in the Prime Minister's office. Up to a million dollars a year that comes from Conservative Party coffers. Wright had ties to the hidden fund for years. Since 2004, he was a director of the Conservative Fund of Canada the party's fundraising arm that provided millions to the clandestine PMO account. The fund is off limits to outside scrutiny by the Auditor General and even Elections Canada. What it's used for is unclear. In a written response to CBC News, Conservative Party spokesman Fred Delory said only, the Prime Minister at times incurs expenses that are best paid by the party. Asked if that could include Wright's payout to Duffy, Delore replied, no funds were used for that. That doesn't satisfy the opposition parties. When you put two and two together and the man who's in charge of the secret fund in the Prime Minister's office writing a secret check to a politician and none of this was ever supposed to come out, it raises many red flags. The government is also adamant the fund won't be used to reimburse Wright. And there will be no attempt, uh, as the Prime Minister has said, to generate funds in any other way that might compensate. There's nothing new about Prime Ministers tapping into party funds to pay for partisan activities, and there's certainly nothing illegal about it. But what makes this secret fund different is just that. It's secret. And all the people we talked to said that's a first. This in a government that promised openness and accountability. Peter? Our investigative correspondent, Greg Weston, in Ottawa tonight. Thank you, Greg.